Soldiers led by Omar Hassan Ahmed al-Bashir seized power in Sudan in June 1989. Sweeping away a democratically elected government, they promised a revolution of national salvation. What they delivered is a human rights disaster. Sudan is a nation scarred. From the streets of the capital, Khartoum, to the remote rural villages, the human rights of ordinary Sudanese are being abused. Besides being the largest country in Africa, Sudan is one of the most ethnically diverse. Two thirds of its 26 million people are Muslim. Others, especially in the south, are Christians, are followers of traditional religions. It's a country at war with itself. The military government inherited a bitter conflict. It's been fought out far from the capital in the south and remote areas like the Nuba Mountains against the Sudan People's Liberation Army, the SPLA. The SPLA has itself split into two warring factions. Over a million people have died in the conflict, and millions more have been displaced from their homes. They seek refuge in shanty towns outside Khartoum, in the lands of their neighbors, and in refugee camps abroad. 